10. 1 And the Lord said unto Moses, Go in unto Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart, and the heart of his servants, that I might show these my signs in the midst of them. 2 And that thou mayest tell in the ears of thy son, and of thy son's son, what I have wrought upon Egypt, and my signs which I have done among them, that ye may know that I am the Lord. 3 And Moses and Aaron went in unto Pharaoh, and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, the God of the Hebrews, How long wilt thou refuse to humble thyself before me? Let my people go, that they may serve me. For else, if thou refuse to let my people go, behold, tomorrow will I bring locusts into thy border. 5 And they shall cover the face of the earth, that one shall not be able to see the earth, and they shall eat the residue of that which is escaped, which remaineth unto you from the hail, and shall eat every tree which groweth for you out of the field. 6 And thy houses shall be filled, and the houses of all thy servants, and the houses of all the Egyptians, as neither thy fathers nor thy fathers' fathers have seen, since the day that they were upon the earth unto this day. And he turned, and went out from Pharaoh. 7 And Pharaoh's servants said unto him, how long shall this man be a snare unto us? Let the men go, that they may serve the Lord their God. Knowest thou not yet that Egypt is destroyed? 8 And Moses and Aaron were brought again unto Pharaoh. And he said unto them, Go, serve the Lord your God. But who are they that shall go? 9 And Moses said, We will go with our young and with our old, with our sons and with our daughters, with our flocks and with our herds we will go for we must hold a feast unto the Lord. 10 And he said unto them, So be the Lord with you, as I will let you go, and your little ones. See ye that evil is before your face. 11 Not so. Go now ye that are men, and serve the Lord, for that is what ye desire. And they were driven out from Pharaoh's presence. 12 And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thy hand over the land of Egypt for the locusts, that they may come up upon the land of Egypt, and eat every herb of the land, even all that the hail hath left. 13 And Moses stretched forth his rod over the land of Egypt, and the Lord brought an east wind upon the land all that day, and all the night, and when it was morning, the east wind brought the locusts. 14 And the locusts went up over all the land of Egypt, and rested in all the borders of Egypt. Very grievous were they. Before them there were no such locusts as they, neither after them shall be such. 15 For they covered the face of the whole earth, so that the land was darkened, and they did eat every herb of the land, and all the fruit of the trees which the hail had left, and there remained not any green thing, either tree or herb of the field, through all the land of Egypt. 16 Then Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron in haste, and he said, I have sinned against the Lord your God, and against you. 17 Now therefore forgive, I pray thee, my sin only this once, and entreat the Lord your God, that he may take away from me this death only. 18 And he went out from Pharaoh, and entreated the Lord. 19 And the Lord turned an exceeding strong west wind, which took up the locusts, and drove them into the Red Sea. There remained not one locust in all the border of Egypt. 20 But the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart and he did not let the children of Israel go. 21 And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thy hand toward heaven, that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, even darkness which may be felt. 22 And Moses stretched forth his hand toward heaven, and there was a thick darkness in all the land of Egypt three days. 23 They saw not one another, neither rose any from his place for three days, but all the children of Israel had light in their dwellings. 24 And Pharaoh called unto Moses, and said, Go ye, serve the Lord. Only let your flocks and your herds be stayed. Let your little ones also go with you. 25 And Moses said, Thou must also give into our hand sacrifices and burnt offerings, that we may sacrifice unto the Lord our God. 26 Our cattle also shall go with us. There shall not a hoof be left behind for thereof must we take to serve the Lord our God. And we know not with what we must serve the Lord, until we come thither. 27 But the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart, and he would not let them go. 28 And Pharaoh said unto him, 
Get thee from me. Take heed to thyself. See my face no more. For in the day thou seest my face thou shalt die. 29 And Moses said, Thou hast spoken well. I will see thy face again no more. Eleven. One and the Lord said unto Moses, Yet one plague more will I bring upon Pharaoh, and upon Egypt. Afterwards he will let you go hence. When he shall let you go, he shall surely thrust you out hence altogether. Two speak now in the ears of the people, and let them ask every man of his neighbor, and every woman of her neighbor, jewels of silver, and jewels of gold. Three and the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Moreover the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt, in the sight of Pharaoh's servants, and in the sight of the people. For and Moses said, Thus saith the Lord, About midnight will I go out into the midst of Egypt. Five and all the firstborn in the land of Egypt shall die, from the firstborn of Pharaoh that sitteth upon his throne, even unto the firstborn of the maid servant that is behind the mill, and all the firstborn of cattle. 6 And there shall be a great cry throughout all the land of Egypt, such as there hath been none like it, nor shall be like it any more. 7 But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog wet his tongue, against man or beast. That ye may know how that the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. 8 And all these thy servants shall come down unto me, and bow down unto me, saying, Get thee out, and all the people that follow thee and after that I will go out. And he went out from Pharaoh in hot anger. 9 And the Lord said unto Moses, Pharaoh will not hearken unto you, that my wonders may be multiplied in the land of Egypt. 10 And Moses and Aaron did all these wonders before Pharaoh. And the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart, and he did not let the children of Israel go out of his land. 12. One and the Lord spoke unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, Two, this month shall be unto you the beginning of months, it shall be the first month of the year to you. Three speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to their father's houses, a lamb for a household. Four and if the household be too little for a lamb, then shall he and his neighbor next unto his house take one according to the number of the souls. According to every man's eating ye shall make your count for the lamb. 5 Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. Ye shall take it from the sheep, or from the goats. 6 And ye shall keep it unto the fourteenth day of the same month. And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it at dusk. 7 And they shall take of the blood and put it on the two side posts and on the lintel, upon the houses wherein they shall eat it. 8 And they shall eat the flesh in that night, roast with fire, and unleavened bread, with bitter herbs they shall eat it. 9 Eat not of it raw, nor sodden at all with water, but roast with fire, its head with its legs and with the inwards thereof. 10 And ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning, but that which remaineth of it until the morning ye shall burn with fire. 11 And thus shall ye eat it, with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and ye shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. 12 For I will go through the land of Egypt in that night, and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt I will execute judgments. I am the Lord. 13 And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and there shall no plague be upon you to destroy you, when I smite the land of Egypt. 14 And this day shall be unto you for a memorial, and ye shall keep it a feast to the Lord. Throughout your generations ye shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever.